Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am taking you to the Scott and Wash BLM location. And I'm leaving from Chevron off of Riggles Road. I will be heading south on Riggles. Scott and Wash is super close to town and right off the highway. So if you do camp at Scadden, you may have to deal with some highway noise uh, if you camp kind of in the front of Scadden Wash, but I will take you over there to show you what it looks like. Scadden Wash used to be incredibly popular because that's where the RTR was held in the past. But uh, it's kind of quieted down over the last couple years, I'd say. So while we are headed over there, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now we are headed south on Riggles Road and we are going to pass over the I-10. They actually just paved uh, this part of the road so it's nice and smooth. of me is actually the edge of La Posa North, I think. So the edge of that, but we are going to take a left. And now we are not far away ambulance conversion there that we just passed. So you're going to follow this road around and there are a couple different ways you can get into Scadden Wash, but I will show you the main entrance, if you will. In past years, there was a camp post, but I have not seen a camp post yet this season. So we're just following this road around. essentially facing north again and the I-10 is in front of me so you can enter right there to my right you will start seeing RVs and campers but again Scadden Wash is super close to town really easy to get to and to park if you have a big rig and the cell service is pretty good if you park close to the I-10 in my experience. But again, you will have to deal with a little bit of highway noise. However, Scadden Wash does go back uh, south for miles. So you can go kind of far in there if you choose to do that. So now we are riding parallel east to the I-10. find a place to camp. It is 14 day BLM. Again, the road is really bad. So most people drive on the dirt. Now, this road does go down three miles. So there is plenty of camping. You can uh, turn in here, as you can see, and, and kind of go back a ways, or you can just keep going down the dirt road. Again, this road goes for three miles and then it comes to a dead end essentially where you can take a right and head south in, uh, further into Scadden Wash. But I do recommend driving on the dirt portion for the first like two miles if you choose to stay at Scadden Wash. It is 
here, but it is doable. Just kind of depends on if you want to deal with it or not. But I hope this video was helpful to you in getting to Scad and Wash. It is another BLM option. And although it's rocky and close to the highway, it is a great choice, just like the rest of the locations. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time.